Here you go. Here you go, light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ken here at Waters Gardens. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I've got this, uh, well, I don't know, corral that I don't want to see. That's so I'm trying to hide that. So I'm planting a screen of butterfly bush right here. So I've got pink butterfly bush, several of them. I thought I would take a moment and show you how to actually plant something in the ground. And so I've got this pink butterfly bush. It's a two-gallon size plant. And so the hole is only going to be the same depth as this bucket, but three times as wide. And so I've dug the hole partly here, got the hole just about right, so it looks pretty good. A little bit deeper than I want, but that'll be okay. And then when you get your soil all dug here, we need to add some organics back into the soil so the roots are encouraged to grow out. And so I'm going to take some of this water's mulch. Ah. Come on, open it up. Oh, it's sealed too tight. There we go. No pressure while you're on your camera. So I'm taking this water's mulch, and it looks like, well, looks like compost. And so I'm gonna add some of this wood product to the soil. I'm gonna take about, there we go, that's about right. 25 to 30, 40% mulch to your soil. Then I'm gonna blend that together, just turn it so that it's blended into that native soil that I pulled out of the hole. You talking light? You wanna have, you wanna help me? Then I can take this plant out of there. Oh, look at that. So it's just about the right soil or right root mass. Put that in the ground, I'm gonna take, position it so it looks right. I'm gonna take this and then backfill this mulch and native soil and backfill around that plant and then pack it in tight. Just really get it full. There we go. Nice. Now, after I'm all planted here, I'm gonna take a handful of all-purpose plant food. Looks like this. So this is actually the food that's going to get it to grow uh, for the long term, the next three months. I'm gonna take a handful of this and backfill right around the outer edges. And that's gonna slowly, this is an organic fertilizer. As water rain hits this, it's gonna release a little food every time. When I'm all done, I wanna water it in. Probably need a couple gallons, a two and a half gallon watering can. I'm gonna take this root and grow and then add three tablespoons to a gallon of water or a good swig, basically. That seems like about five tablespoons or so. Blend that together. This is that magic juice. This is a, uh, a compost tea, which activates plants, so they just start rooting right away. I'm just gonna water this thing in really well. Each of these plants I put in there really soak that root ball. It kind of looks like I don't know, it looks like, uh, what does that look like? Like, I don't know, some sort of syrup or, but plants love it. It has kind of an earthy smell to it. And that's how you plant here in the mountains of Arizona. You need a hole the same depth as a bucket, but three times as wide. The soil you pull out, you wanna add mulch, which was this, about 25 to 30% mulch to your soil, blend it together backfill around that root ball, add on top of the soil the all-purpose plant food, and finally water it in at the very end with a mixture of root and grow. So mulch, food, root and grow. And that's as simple as that. Activate this about every two weeks until you see that plant uh, stabilized and really growing well. Kennett Waters Garden Center, that's how you plant in your backyard as well. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, kind of help us out. It really helps us rank better with Google so we get noticed as a small company here at Prescott, Arizona. Thanks.